Now we will study about sky wave propagation. We have discussed in the previous section about ground waves which are having relatively less range. So, for less range propagation ground waves are used and here we can write that long distance propagation of signals are done by ionospheric reflection of waves called the sky waves. When waves are reflected by ionospheric layers of earth atmosphere, these are called the sky waves. Here uh, we know well, I think you all of you might have studied about the ionosphere and earth's atmosphere. It is in the range from 60 to about 500 kilometers above earth's surface, in which various layers are there in ionosphere and we can write in which degree of ionization varies with height. We know that in the upper atmosphere, the solar energy density is quite high and its energy intensity is high. The ionization is high, but the density of atmosphere is low. So, very less molecules are there in the upper earth atmosphere. So, at about the upper edge of ionosphere at around 450 to 500 kilometers, the ionization is very less because less number of molecules are there. Similarly, at the lower level of ionosphere where atmospheric density is high, but when solar radiation reaches the lower level, the energy or intensity of solar radiation decreases, so very less ionization is there at low level. So, at some intermediate level between 60 to 500 kilometer at around 100-200 kilometers range, the peak ionization degree is there in the ionosphere and due to ionization of molecules, these electromagnetic waves are reflected. So, here if we talk about the earth's surface from which one say there is a broadcasting station or there is a transmitter which transmits electromagnetic waves. So, here we can write for electromagnetic waves of a frequency up to 30 megahertz, which we were talking about in the range of operating frequencies of a sky wave propagation. Here we can write up to 30 megahertz are reflected by ionospheric layers. So, here if frequency is less than 30 megahertz, the waves which are emitted or broadcasted by the transmitter. From the various ionospheric layers, these waves are reflected and these can be received by the receiver at a distant location also. A wave which is propagating to some other angle, it is further reflected and it may be received by a receiver which is located at far away distance. But here it is important to write that here we must know that frequencies which are more than approximately 40 megahertz are able to penetrate the ionosphere or we can say in the electromagnetic waves where frequency is more than 40 megahertz, the energy is so high that ionosphere is not able to reflect these waves. If frequency is more than 40 megahertz, even at some particular places where ionospheric layers are relatively thin, even 30 megahertz waves can also penetrate if the angle of incidence is less. So, it depends on angle of incidence also or the phenomena is like total internal reflection which is taking place from the ionospheric layer. This is the way how up to 30 megahertz electromagnetic waves can be used for sky wave propagation. 
these waves which are reflected from ionospheric layers and received by the receiver located at distance location these waves we call sky waves